if I could summarise by the ballot in three words, it would be to empower a generation. Essentially, it's an ethos to try and connect our younger citizens with the um, political process, but with a view that they come in, understand the system as it currently is, and then together, united in numbers, they begin to, to sort of uphold the things that they, they like and they value, but pick apart and change the things that just don't work in a modern day society. Essentially, Bite the Ballot is trying to address um, a key issue that's, that's been going on for decades now, which is a fundamental lack of engagement and education of our youngest citizens. So we want to try and um, implement key skills from a young age that, that gives the individual um, the sense of empowerment, that they can change things, um, and, and an ability to appreciate one another's rights to be different, but fundamentally lead the way when it comes to the evolution of our democracy. I believe it's essential because we, we've seen a, a huge gap and a disconnect between the decision making process and, and our youngest citizens and, and especially those that are most marginalised. And, and as a direct result we're seeing a rise in xenophobia, we're seeing people blaming one another for, for issues that, that are quite literally not caused by one another. So we need, we need our youngest citizens to really take a grip of of what it means to sort of be in a representative democracy, but to understand that they're citizens at a local, national and global level, and together is the only way that they're, they're going to create change. So we want to install an ethos that, that our younger citizens have a lot of power and that together they can do good with it. I think there's never been a more urgent time for us to, to bridge the gap between the decision making process and our youngest and most marginalised citizens. Um, currently, um, you know, we haven't got a national curriculum or an education that's fit for purpose. We have far too many people leaving education without uh, a sense that they're a citizen within a, a local, national and global community. And they don't, the worst of all, they don't believe that they can play a role in change. And so Bright the Ballot is essentially trying to bring things back to a basic level and empower our younger citizens to not only be the change, but lead the change. For me, one of the most exciting things about becoming an Ashoka Fellow is that connection with others that have, have um, you sort of paved new pathways before me, so I can seek advice and support. My name is Michael Sarney, and I'm an Ashoka Fellow. <laughs>